It's a beautiful day here in Iowa and I get a chance to show off my new hat that my wife bought me for a present. And this is episode two on AI and data literacy. And what I wanna cover in lesson two is just some very basic economics behind the craze and the excitement around data and analytics. There's four things you need to know about sort of the economic value creation cycle. Number one, companies capture your data at an individual you level. That is through credit card transactions, that is through loyalty cards, that is through telephone calls or text messages or emails or um, social media or, or all the zillions of apps on your phone. They're capturing individual transactions and engagements that you engage on at a very detailed level. Number one, everybody, every one of their customers are trying to capture that individual detail of, of data. Number two, they're gonna use it in analytics of some sorts. And we'll just call it analytics, it's probably called AI today, but it's a, it's a wide variety of analytics to uncover and codify your predicted and behavioral propensities. That is the things you're likely to want to buy and when you might wanna buy it. The movies you might be most interested in, the foods you might be most interested in, uh, you know, the friends who you should be connecting with, even, even what content to show you on social media. So they're creating these, these, these scores, we call them analytic scores that codify your propensities of your actions. They bury these in digital profiles and then use these, these propensities to make recommendations to you, to take actions about what they're gonna show you from an advertising perspective, from a content perspective. And then number four, they measure the effectiveness of that. Did you respond? And if you didn't, they learn from that. And if you did, they learn from that, right? Number one, capture individual data. Number two, analyze that data at a detail level to build a digital profile or what I call an analytic profile on you. Number three, act. Make, make recommendations, right? In a use case basis, put it into practice. And number four, measure the effectiveness. That's the simple process that they're going through to ex uncover the value of those data sets. Thanks for your time. Cheers.